Namaste. Namaste, everybody. I just wanted to say hi. Um, and I also have a couple of things that I want to do with my life. <laughs> um, this is the first time I'm back on, in case nobody noticed. Since, uh, Friday I just did a one minute video in my classroom. Literally one minute. One minute and eleven seconds. And, um, the last video I did was 24 minutes, I think, in my car. Um, but I have a couple of things to do, so, on my docket. So, of course, I'm doing Virgo, but I might just do the shout-out video and then start again with Virgo, um, because my prayer cards are in the car, and I, I feel like I need to get them, um, even though I could just say my prayers in my head. But anyhow, um, yeah, I just might make it separate, uh, because some people just like to click on my, you know, the specific topic. So I, I want to have prayers up because I just found out that a very good friend of mine and fellow YouTuber, fellow psychic, um, her name is Kathy Madigan. She was in a terrible, first she had COVID, I think she might have had COVID twice. And she, remember she was the one who made me that beautiful shawl. I haven't been able to wear it that much, um, only in the winter. Um, it's beautiful and blue. It's like a sapphire blue. It's so beautiful. She knitted it for me. Um, and she had a channel up and she was looking for the boys since they're in classic and summer. Um, and then I think she had some health problems. So she stopped her chat doing her channel um, but I'm trying to encourage her to do it, even though she's laid up. She broke both of her ankles. She was in a terrible car accident. She's lost, um, a lot of money. Um, I don't know if she lost her job because she was in a terrible car accident and also having COVID, um, before that, uh, maybe several times. So I want to put her, I put her on my chakra candle. Her name is Kathy Madigan. And please, everybody pray for her. Kathy Madigan is a, a good friend of mine from years ago. She used to write me letters, and I would just get them at the perfect time. Um, they'd come in my post office box, and they were just letters of her saying that she always watches, but she doesn't always comment. And um, she would send me like a $20 bill, or she would send me $25 or $10, whatever it was, and she did that several times, but what m meant the world to me is that she wrote me a letter. And the reason why, that means a lot to me. I love letters. I love getting anything in writing. Um, and she has a lot of abilities, and she's, like I said, she's an empath and a psychic. And she started her um, crime channel, um, but I... Don't, I think maybe she got sick after that, and she also has a lot of grandchildren and a job. So um, hopefully she'll start vlogging again, maybe about her experiences or what she thinks about the cases or even just her experiences. And I have her in the red section because any kind of healing with your legs or arms or shoulders, uh, you need red. So try to wear red if you can. Um, try to have a red blanket or some kind of red pants, um, red socks when you can wear socks. Okay. And you just heal, 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 and heal. Okay. I love you. And if you could put it in the comments, when is your birthday? All right, so I can get a read on you. All right, when is your birthday again, Kath? I, I I remember a long time ago you told me, but I can't remember now. All right, so prayers up for my friend Kathy Madigan. I also have this candle from Fly a Beat, all nice and lit. It has a lot of nice energy. I was burning some Palo Santo before to get the um, smoke, the energy, and the love, and the prayers up going up to heaven. May all the angels surround you. Archangel Michael protect you in your house. My friend Kathy Madigan. And Archangel Raphael heal you and help you overcome anything that hurts your body. And then you will heal and you will be back to helping others. Thank you. Thank you, dear God. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Okay, so. Hi. I don't look good, so I'm sorry. But it's not about me looking good. Okay. I also wanted to say that I am wearing earrings from my good friend, um, Crystal Medicine. And they are a moonstone, I believe. Yeah, moonstone. And she has, with her jewelry, she has um, all these little things that she makes up. All the descriptions of the what the stones do and that's really helpful uh, a moonstone it's for success and fortune yes check please check please we need that um, stress relief oh yeah check please crown chakra and it's handmade and blessed with love and light by crystal medicine and if you need any crystal medicine jewelry just go to her channel and then she also gave me some root chakra, root chakra, um, potpourri. And I'm going to put that in my candle because that is very good for feeling safe. Hopefully it doesn't burn. Oh, just, uh, I think she told me to put it in a bowl. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it in this bowl just a little bit and you could smell it. And the root chakra, if Kathy's watching this, um, is very good for healing your limbs, your legs, your ankles, your arms, your hands, okay? Um, so you need to do root chakra affirmations. Listen to Jason Stevenson on the red root chakra or anybody. Okay, so that's that. That was number two that I have to, I also have to dye my hair before tomorrow, okay? Because look at it. Guys, this is a not good. This is not good. And I know I have unboxing to do. It's on my list, trust me. Um, but I just, I ask the angels and God to focus me because I have, you know, the ADD and so on. Then, then the thing with Kathy came up. I just saw it on Facebook and I was like so shocked because um, I didn't know anything about it. So I was like, I have to get a prayer out to her, so. Let me just see if I could put you up higher. So I'm not using my regular stand. I wasn't going to show my face, but I realized that some people communicate better with eyes to eyes. Eyes to eyes. Okay. So um, that's what I'm going to do. All right. No matter if I look hot mess. Uh, not every day you can have makeup on. Okay. Sorry. Somebody told me I took, I take big sips of my drinks. I'm sorry, I do. Especially my coffee. I have to, it gives me energy. Anyway, why am I here? And then I'm probably going to jump off and then come back again. Okay. To do the Virgo and all the other stuff that I, I might have a, I might be doing Lucian, Lucian. Uh, a little boy because I promised somebody it might be a short video but I like I said I have those cards in the car because I thought I was gonna do it days ago and then just life happened and the, we lost our baby doggy so um, everything you know shuts down uh, emotionally and um, now I feel like I'm coming out of it but anyhow so just give me time thank you I must say all right so we have Awakened Intuitives Tarot. Okay, you might be like, what the, what the, what? Okay, this is a beautiful reader. That's how I describe her. A beautiful reader. She is a hard worker. I know she's an Aquarius. I pr pretty much believe she's an Aquarius. Okay, you might not know what, you know how I give people shout outs and I write them down? Well, I was supposed to give her, I, she's um, Rhonda, she's Crystal Medicine's good friend, and um, she's on my channel sometimes, okay, you know, sometimes, and um, she's she does very long videos, so I don't expect other readers, we're working our own channel, so it's very hard to watch everything that everybody does, although we try our best to do it, to be supportive, you know, 
it's hard because if you're putting out content and you're doing hour videos or sometimes hour and a half videos or even if you're doing 10 minute videos every day that's a lot and then you have a job and you have your family and you have a house to clean up that doesn't get cleaned okay because the maid never showed up no yeah the maid the maid is right here okay anyhow if I was a maid, I'd be fired. Okay. Um, so anyhow, this is a woman who I found out about through Crystal Medicine. And she does an eclectic, um, an eclectic uh, array of videos. Okay. And she's so sweet. She's like a young girl. She's probably my daughter's age or even younger. Okay, so um, I could be her mother. Anyway, she's very, very eclectic. And what, what I'm, why I'm saying that is she does a lot of, uh, of everything. She does a lot of things with cards, of course. I'm just dying to get into these cards, and I will. And these are my New York cards, which I have not gotten into yet. So that's why I put them on my table, so I would know to get into them. Anyhow, she does cards and she talks about aliens and she talks about, now she's Aquarius, so she can, all the, all the, um, especially Aquarius. Uh, I mean, Aquarius are very in tune. They're usually always psychics. Um, even if they don't want to be, it'll come naturally, uh, but sometimes they shut it down because they just don't want to be open to all that energy that they feel already. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure she's an Aquarius. Watch her not be an Aquarius. But anyway, all the air signs, there's Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. They are very open to the other dimensions out there, okay? I'm not saying that the other, you know, earth signs and fire signs aren't open. Um, and water signs aren't saying that they're not open. But Aquarius in particular... <laughs> now I'm too I'm too skittish I'm very you know I know it's out there but and I have uh, an Aquarius son that since he was like a baby two years old started talking about aliens okay so when when I I talked to him as an adult and I he used all around his room he had an alien in water in, in like oil and water like a lava lamp alien and you would plug it in and it, the wax and stuff and it was alien baby my god it was really cool i think he gave it to my his back to his sister so my daughter has it now i don't know why he gave it back to her but he's generous um and but aliens around his room he liked anything to do with space and aliens anyway <sighs> I, I said to him as an adult that, you know, some people think that that's hogwash, that, you know, aliens do not exist. And he said, Mom, they better be careful if they're, if they're saying that they don't exist because that's who will get the visitation. And I was like, that scares me because I don't want any visitation. I don't want the earth sign. I don't want anybody picking up my car. I don't want anybody probing my body. Okay, so that, it, it frightens me. But I do know that, you know, not all of the people out there in the other dimensions are bad. They're not all negative. Okay, um, but I still don't want anybody probing my organs. Okay, my organ, my organs are too old to probe okay <laughs> anyhow so this beautiful young reader and she even she even has two two children i believe um her channel is called awakened intuitives tarot i hope i didn't screw that up but do you like my design awakened intuitives tarot and the three colors i thought for her were green purple of course hello purple green and orange i don't know i just got that intuitively <laughs> okay so awakened intuitive tarot if you're looking for a channel 
She does all kinds of things. She does things about her garden. She does readings, regular readings. She does readings on missing, missing children, missing people. Um, she's done a lot of work on Dylan. I think a lot of work on people, names that I haven't even done. I think Aiden, Kloon, um, just loads of people. You'd have to go over there. But if you're not interested in the missing cases, she just does regular readings on Kundalini. She just she just did like four, I think three or four videos on Kundalini. So if you're not sure what that is, I used to talk about that back in the day. Um, if you, if you would like to awaken your Kundalini and get your mojo back, um, but it's not that easy. And you also have to remember, if you're trying to awaken your Kundalini, a lot of things that are in your immediate presence will might falter like you might not have enough time for people in your house you might not have enough um you might not have your mojo you might not be thinking with your physical body you're only thinking with your third eye that was my experience but everybody has a different experience like it wakes you up um to different levels of your being anyhow she, if you're not understanding it and I totally confused you, which I do. I do a good job of that. Go to her channel, Awaken Intuitives Tarot, and see why she's so wonderful. Okay? And if you didn't believe me, I did a second picture. Okay, so Awaken Intuitive Tarot. And she talks about her garden. She shows you, you know, all the things she's planted, all the flowers that are coming up. Um just there's just so many and her name is natalie so please and um natalie if you see this and you want these okay i will mail them to you but go go to my my gmail and email me your address and i will mail you these okay um because i don't have your address or maybe i'll just ask crystal medicine anyhow I just wanted everybody to know about this beautiful channel. I support her. She's a soul sister. She is a beautiful, creative mind. Um, I see something, another level that she's going to go on, but that's just something coming in for me that I probably should tell her privately. Um, but anyhow, I just feel like, write down, Natalie, write down, where you want to go on your channel what you enjoy i know you enjoy doing a lot of different things but uh, um the missing cases you're wonderful um anything to do with your garden that's beautiful especially i have a black thumb um so i'm amazed at anybody who grows anything um and uh but i just feel like there's something else that you want to do but you're a little bit afraid it's something creative is it is it poetry or writing short stories i don't know but i would throw it throw it out there on your channel and um yeah any if you need anything you need any advice you need any help you know feel free to get in touch with crystal medicine to get my number okay uh, and you could text me i just text i don't do the actual phone call okay unless it's an emergency anyway awakened intuitive tarot interesting she's got a lot of tarot decks okay so i would say the three people that have a, the, the most tarot decks that uh somebody has is crystal medicine i think she has the most crystals and the most tarot decks coming in a hard second is genocide genocide jen flower artist she has a lot of tarot decks but i don't think quite as many as crystal medicine and genocide has a lot of crystals but she's in between like she's always moving so she has to get her crystals she doesn't have all crystals she doesn't have as many as crystal medicine crystal medicine beats everybody with the with the um with that anyhow um but awakened intuitive tarot natalie natalie come out to play Okay, you're too young to know what that is. That's an old movie in the 70s, 80s. Okay. This is what she reminds me of. 
this flower. Okay. All right. She has a lot of decks. She has a deck that has alien has alien on it. I really would like that, but I'm scared. I'm scaredy cat. So, my name is Cat and I'm a scaredy cat. So, but I like I want to I like seeing her read those cards and it's just awesome. Okay. I should get them for my son, but he probably wouldn't. He hasn't used any of the cards that I gave him so far, so I gave my nieces, my daughter, my daughter used some of them, but she used to do a lot of readings. I don't think she does readings anymore. Okay, what are you going to say? Okay, I've gone on too much, and I'm going to end it now. Love you. Namaste. Prayers up for Kathy Madigan. Prayers up for Kathy Madigan. Love you, Kath. You're going to get better. You just have to vlog from your bed and ask Spirit what you should do next.